Welcome to this video podcast from the International Al Jolson Society. Starting as an audio podcast in 2007, this is a look into the works and legacy of the world's greatest entertainer, Al Jolson. An unrivaled star of stage, screen, and recording, his influences are felt even today, more than 60 years after his passing. From June 11th, 1937, this week's Al Jolson podcast comes from a radio broadcast of the Hollywood Hotel and features George Jessel engaging Al Jolson in comedy and song. I have run the gamut in introducing personalities, governors, mayors, actors, authors, dancers, prize fighters, champion flagpole setters, and tea with lemon drinkers from cups. Really, I have. But I now have the privilege of introducing another chap. A chap for whom every entertainer in the show business has a most majestic reverence and deservedly so. The most dynamic personality the amusement world has ever known. Ladies and gentlemen, I thrill to bring you Al Jolson. Thank you, folks. Thank you, Georgie. That was a lovely introduction. I always enjoy it. I really do. Even when you put somebody else's name at the finish of it. Oh, well. But you have the happy faculty of saying the right thing at the right time, Georgie. I remember at that Weber and Fields dinner the other night, you didn't do a wrong thing except eat my dessert. Well, Al, I was nervous and hungry, but I'm glad you mentioned that dinner, A.C., because the biggest kick I got at that dinner was when you got up and sang a song and I saw the tears come to the eyes of those old-timers. You know the song from the Weber and Fields music hall, Rosie, You Are My Posy. Al, will you sing it? Certainly I will. You don't think I came all the way from Encino just to hear you talk again? <laughs> play it, Raymond, play it. <laughs> There's a certain little lady that I long to call my bride. And this boy am ever happy when his baby is by his side. Her baptismal name is Rosie, but she puts the rose to shame. And most every night, you'll hear me call her name. Rosie, you are my posy. You are my heart's okay. Come out in the silvery moonlight. There's something sweet, love, I want to say. Your honey boy, I'm waiting. Those ruby lips to greet Don't be so hesitating My blushing rosy My posy sweet Rosie, Rosie, Rosie you, you are, are my posy you, you are my heart bouquet Come out in the silvery moonlight There's something we love There's nobody, there's nobody in the world that's got that zoom when they sing a song like you have, you know? And it's never left you. Gosh, I remember when I was a little bit of a baby. Yes, I remember. <laughs> you stole my lollipop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but say, we've both been around a long time. I know me. I, I've had my nose to the grindstone of the show business for a good many years. Well, I'd hate to have seen it before you started. <laughs> I knew that was coming. But no kidding, George, honestly, I want to compliment you on your ease at the microphone. Thank you. It's remarkable that you have such, what should I say, repose. Yes, you should. Sure. Yeah, I'll say it, and I did. All right. <laughs> Considering it is so seldom that you get near a microphone. Well, you know, Al, most radio programs have no audience, and that's what I had to get used to, you know, working without an audience. Well, that shouldn't have been hard. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't hard. I made personal appearances with your last picture. No, no. <laughs> or even. Someday I hope to do the same for you. <laughs> But I want to say one thing, Al, but there has never been anyone in the amusement business that has been so imitated as you've been. Most of the imitations have been pale ones, but gosh, Al, everybody has covered your style. I won't mention any names because, say, a fellow with five grown daughters has got enough trouble. You know what I mean. <laughs> 
But, Al, you've got to admit this. I've never copied you. No, sir. Good, bad, or indifferent, I've always been gentle. Yes, sir, you've always been gentle. Maybe that's what the trouble has been. Maybe it is. <laughs> oh, no kidding. But, you know, some of the fellas I know are even trying to look like you. Oh, <laughs> you saying some fellas trying to look like me, that reminds me. Wow. I've got to tell you about my kid. I knew that was coming. Oh. <laughs> you mean you, you, you've even heard about my little fella? Heard of him. I understand you're going to put his picture on every package of Rinso. That's what I heard. Georgie, look. You left out life, boy. <laughs> But, Georgia, let me tell you one thing. That little fella is so cute. And would you believe it? Honestly, he, he looks just like me. Oh, what do you care? As long as he's healthy, uh, Al. <laughs> oh, but I can appreciate the feelings of a doting father. They're, always, they're all the same. But let me tell you something. I'm an outsider. Let me talk about you, kid. And maybe it sounds better. And I hope that your little boy turns out to be just half the guy that his daddy is and is imitated as much by everybody. I know. <laughs> I hope he's imitated by everybody, Georgie, except you. That's mm -hmm. right, not me. I'm, I'm the only one of the boys who doesn't try to sing like you, really, Al. I, I was humming that song this morning. I told Norm, I, I said, honey, ha, ha, ha. I said, honey, you ought to seem like fella Armstrong. Nah. He killed the people, yes, Al. <laughs> I said, honey, that song that Rosie and I joke. Play it, will you? Go ahead, Al. <laughs> Rosie, you are my poet. No, 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 you are. Sing it. My heart's okay. Give it out, boy. Oh, come out in the silvery moonlight. There's something sweet, love, I want to say. Your honey boy, no, is waiting. Oh, this way. Those little ruby lips, ruby, those lips to read. Come on, boy. Oh, don't be so hesitant. My blush is rosy. My sweetie is sweet. Good evening, friends. Well, you're still imitating Cantor, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but, Georgie, yeah. since we're both bad, let's do the next one together. All right, Al, what song would you suggest? Well, I suggest a song that Weber and Fields are thinking of right now. Give my regard to Broadway. Remember me to Hera Square And tell all the boys on 42nd Street That I will soon be there Just whisper how I am a yearning To mingle with that old time throng Give my regards to old Broadway And say that This entire radio program is available on the website of the International Al Jolson Society, www.jolson.org. That's J-O-L-S-O-N dot O-R-G. Along with many other radio shows, Jolson recordings, video clips, and information about the world's greatest entertainer. Be sure to visit the site and listen for the next podcast. As Al Jolson said... In the words he made famous, You ain't heard nothing yet.